Hi there, Tim with After Later Audio. Today we're gonna look at Beehive and Knit, which are both smaller versions of the Mutable Instruments Plats. They have the exact same functionality, just in a smaller footprint. So you can see our Beehive here is the larger of the two, and then we have the Knit. Um, really, really compact, so it kind of all depends on what you're looking for in your system, uh, you know, because real estate is expensive in those cases. Uh, if you have the room for this one, and, and you want more room for, uh, you know, messing with the knobs, then this is a great option. However, if you primarily work with CV, um, and you don't really want to play it live, then I would recommend the Knit. So I'll just do a quick little uh, overview of these modules, but uh, we always like to encourage people to go to the Mutable Instruments website and look at the uh, actual manual for, uh, in this case, plats. Um, so yeah, just a basic overview today. If you want more information, I'll put a link in the video description. Let's dive in. All right, before we dive into any of the sounds, I'm just gonna tell you kind of the overview or the idea behind Platts, uh, in this case, Beehive and Knit. And this is coming straight from the Platts manual. It is a digital voltage controlled sound source capable of 16 different synthesis techniques. It reclaims the land between all the fragmented islands of the sounds produced by its predecessor, Braids. And it also has a built-in uh, LPG and a decaying envelope. So as you can see, I've got carve here, the output of carve going into the level input here. So that's basically, uh, you send your envelope in there and you don't need to uh, put a VCA in between your, uh, your beehive and your mixer. So I'm just gonna get this uh, generating really quick so you can see the envelope in action. So that's cool there. And then now um, we can also send uh, a trigger signal or a gate signal into the trigger input to uh, get the LPG going. And this is particularly useful in the drum modes. So there are uh, the green, um, that'll give you more oscillator type sounds, and then the, uh, the red will give you more percussive type sounds. But it's pretty cool, the, uh, the LPG also does apply to the synthesizer side. So you can trigger it or send an envelope into the level. So first up, I'll do a really quick overview of the control panel. Um, but with every, uh, with every different mode you select, some of these take on a little bit different of a uh, function. So uh, first up, we have these buttons. These are our modal select buttons. You saw me do that just a second ago to select uh, the different voices that I wanted to use, whether it's on the percussive side or the more oscillator uh, side. Um, we have a coarse frequency knob. By default, it covers uh, a range of eight octaves, but it can be narrowed down to 14 semitones, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so these are the mode-dependent controls. Their actual function varies from model to model, as I just mentioned. In general, uh, the timbre sweeps the spectral content from dark to spa uh, sparse or bright to dense. Um, the morph explores lateral timbral variations, and harmonics controls the frequency spread or the balance between the various constituents of the tone. Um, and that might have you know that's a that's a little bit wordy there and we'll we'll get into that more as we get into each individual synthesis mode so here we have our um attenuverters for the timbre morph and fm one thing to keep in mind is if you don't have cv patched into any of them um but you do have a trigger going in it will actually uh, affect the um the sound it basically adjusts the modulation amount from the internal decaying envelope generator and then as far as inputs and outputs go of course you have your cv ins um, again the timbre morph and fm have attenuverters and then you have uh your level which we covered a second ago which is uh you put your envelope in there um then you have the uh, the harm uh the harmonic um cv input 
and then a volt per octave and then the mode will actually change between these so you can um, you know if you get the right CV signal going in there you can create a full drum beat with just the one module so we'll get into that in a little bit and then the uh, the trigger input actually um, it serves for percussive purposes so not only is it just triggering um, but it also uh, it triggers the decaying envelope generator it excites the physical and percussive models um, and then it, it also strikes the uh, the internal low pass gate unless the CV is patched um, the CV in for uh, the level it also samples and holds the value of the model CV input. So if you're using the model in uh, a, with the trigger, you're going to be sample sampling and holding whatever is happening in there. And the level input, as I mentioned, uh, you can send an envelope to it. Um, it also opens the internal low pass gate to, uh, to simultaneously control the amplitude and brightness of the output signal. Um, and it can also act as an accent control when triggering the physical or percussive model. So if you're in the uh, percussive side, you can use both of these and these will, this will take care of some accents for you. Um, of course, you got one volt per octave. That's pretty uh, standard. It controls the fundamental frequency of the sound from negative three to positive five octaves relative the, to the root note set by the coarse frequency knob here. So you can see we have uh, two outputs here and the the normal, you know, out is just what's happening here, the, the standard uh, synthesizer engine. And then the aux actually output outputs a variant uh, sidekick or byproduct of the main signal produced by the out. So that's also going to depend on what mode you, uh, you are using. So to dive a little deeper here on the control panel, you can adjust a lot of these parameters uh, like the LPG and envelope. So first up, hold down the A button, you'll get the yellow LEDs all the way to the left of, on the timbre knob. Um, you've got VCFA and that goes all the way to VCA and that's basically adjusting the response um, of the LPG. And then the morph uh, will adjust the ringing time of the LPG and the decay time of the internal envelopes. And then if you push down and hold the right button here, um, you can actually adjust the, um, the, the frequency range uh, of the knob. So uh, you can go from uh, C0 plus or minus seven, seven semitones, uh, C1 plus or minus seven uh, semitones and so on and then all the way up you uh, once all of these are lit you actually get a full eight octave range from C0 to C8.